Yes, Gawa. <laughs> This video shows how to start a new MotionWorks IEC project, along with a quick overview of the software. MotionWorks IEC can be launched from the desktop shortcut, or find under All Programs, Yaskawa, MotionWorks IEC 2 Pro. Start a new project under File, New Project, and then choose the template according to the controller that you have. I'm going to choose MP2300 SIEC. Then, as best practice, go to File, Save Project As, and give your project a name. I'm going to call mine Quick Start Pro 2. You can see the default save path is under C Users Public, Public Documents, MotionWorks IEC 2 Pro Projects. For first time use, we can free up some space here by moving the hardware configuration toolbars up to the top right. Now let's take a minute to look at this programming interface. This middle area is your main work area, where on the left is what's called the project tree. On the right is the edit wizard, where you'll get your instructions from. And at the bottom is a message area. Focusing in now on the project tree, uh, you can see there's different uh, subfolders for libraries, data types, and let's look at logical POUs. POU is an IEC term that stands for Program Organization Unit. Expanding a POU, such as HMI, you see that it has information worksheets. I can double click on it to open it. It has a variable list with ending in V, and it has the code page itself. I'm double clicking to open these, which are empty right now since it is a new project. Uh, the tabs appear in the bottom for easy access if you want to go flip back and forth between the different pages you've opened and then any particular tab can be closed with close at the top right here so that gets rid of any tabs I don't want to have open if the tab you have open is a code worksheet then on the right hand panel the edit wizard will give you the different instructions that are available to you to use you can drag any instruction from this edit wizard into the programming space if it's a function block, such as ftrig, it will prompt you for the instance name. And I usually click OK to accept the name, and you see that the name is the title above the block. And the edit wizard has this drop down for different groups of functions and function blocks. For any motion control function blocks, you want to choose PLC Open Plus, and all those motion control blocks start with MC or the Yaskawa specific motion control block start with Y. Now back over to the project tree, let's look at the physical hardware area. And under physical hardware, you can see the tasks. These tasks define the order and the priority for executing the code in the logical POUs. If a logical POU does not exist here in one of the tasks, then it will not execute in the controller. We'll have more details on this in another video. Another important part of your project is called the hardware configuration, which is this uh, leftmost black button. And the hardware configuration shows the properties of your machine, the Mechatrolink 2 network with any servos or I.O., the IP address setting for the project, Ethernet IP devices, and Modbus TCP devices, as well as the slot or slots in your controller. And again, this is a new project, so the configuration is empty at this point. If I don't have a controller available, I could remain offline and begin to add I.O. cards or servo devices. Node number one. Adding these manually until it uh, matches what I expect to have in my controller system so that I can begin to program using these devices. Any changes to the hardware configuration should be saved. And then I can close the hardware configuration. And many of the changes that have been made are visible under the physical hardware and the global variables. So now I have global variable groups for the access that I've created, as well as for the I.O. card that I manually created. Thanks for watching this video, and remember yaskawa.com slash IEC 
for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.